Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why would they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. This place, simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Well, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest. And we're underway. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? I think it's got to be Alexis Sanchez. A sensation when he's in full flow. Uh, although he's played a, as a central striker, I prefer him operating out wide, where he enjoys more space, and that enables him to generate greater momentum for a one-on-one. -on -one. And, and yeah, I think he's a huge threat. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Hasebor. Josip Ilicic. Out to the right. Hasebor. It's a loose ball. Trying to get there. Oh, it's a fine challenge and it goes his way. Kolarov. That'll be a throw. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Ilicic. Chelhanolu. Barrera. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Eriksson. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Looks to clip it forward. Gosnes. Into Milan, yet to have a shot on target. Hatterbor. Good challenge, he just stood firm all the way back and they start again. And Danovic sends that a long way. That could spell trouble. 
He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Hatterbor. De Morel. Hatterbor. Chip through. Oh, that's clever. Martinez! Goal! Inter! And Inter go in front. Sanchez at his razor sharp best there. Our oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick minded was that? Inter Milan take the lead, 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. And it's Ilicic. Gets wrestled off the ball. Stefan de Vrij. And here's Zapata. De Vrij is the guilty party there. And he is going into that little black book. Ilicic. Josip Ilicic. Plays it out to the flank. A really good feat. Up to meet it! Up towards the front line. There is the half-time whistle. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Into Milan, head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. So we're just settling back into this second half. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Eriksson. Skriniar. They get a throw in. Certain amount of room for debate here, but a goal kick's been given. Hatterbor. And it's Zapata. Zapata. Martinez. Breaks on here. Martinez. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Inter Milan are oh, still that goal to the good. Ilicic. And it's been taken straight back. Going for goal! No, not quite.
Barrera. Chalanolu is now the subject of some adhesive marking. Well, he's the quarterback equivalent, so I'm not surprised that he's being closed down first. And here's Zapata. And back to base. Lobs it in gently. Well played, he saw that coming. And that's sprayed out wide. And it's Ilicic. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. Atalanta showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. Hatabor. To Morel. Inter Milan got their goal at the end of the first half. And the score is 1-0. And it's played forward. That's a throw. That's a case of crossing and hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Atalanta are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Barrera with a delicate ball. De Frey does well to read it and intercepts. Handanovic gets it upfield. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. The Frank is there, and he can get that clear. That'll be a throw-in. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Well read, he sorted that out. And there goes the final whistle. Inter Milan win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, a result which owed much to grind and graft, Peter. Not the prettiest of wins, but 